Hey what's up everyone, how you all doing today? Welcome to episode 32 of our Let's Play series of Adeptus Mechanicus with a Heretic DLC. We had a little bit of a long one last episode, we had to do for four encounters. The plus side of that is, we got ourselves a big old Hall of Blackstone here. So let's get in there, start upgrading a couple of our guys. So, hmm, we should be able to afford two, maybe three upgrades here. Let's see where we're all at. So we've got 17, 17, 16, 19, 16, 17. Okay, so let's get these 16 guys up a little bit. So who's this Marius? Got this one. One cognition point gained on killing a target. Here we go. That's a good one for Marius. So he should be doing lots of killing. What we go for? I think we'll go for... Oh, have we got the better cog stick yet? Yeah, we haven't. I think we're going to have to do that mission soon where we get the better cog stick. So I'm really keen to get that on. Uh, we could maybe put a different gun on him. We don't use this one very often. So that's a one augment slot. So we've got space for a two. Like that, six to eight. Down five to seven. Yeah, that could be more worthwhile, possibly. Let's do it. There we go. Okay, what's that healing to? Five to seven. Mm, actually, I think we're going to go back to that. We're going to put the better um, Croatia one. This one here. There we go, keep him in the fight a bit longer. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so, he's up to 17 now. Let's get the other 16 up. Oriochus. Of canisters, yeah. Let's get that, that's what we were working towards, wasn't it? Avoiding the opportunity attacks. We can go for with him. Oh, we can give him the better axe. Let's give him the better axe. More chopping power. So I think we're all on 17, apart from the one who's on 19 now. Yeah, there we go. Leonardo's our healer. Uh, it'd be cool if we could get him another upgrade slot. Get better Coratio on the go. So what can we give him? Oh, let's go towards this one. Casting the canticle for free, that's brilliant. So what gauntlets has it gone up at the moment? Oh, just two HP. Let's give him one HP and a 20 crit chance. I think we'll do that. We're losing one on the HP. Which I think is gonna be alright. He's our healer. So he's got lots of healing stuff going on. So let's get rid of that Coratio and put this one on. So now he can heal himself or others. 8 to 10 with the Coratio Claw. And then the Coratio Mechadendroid. It's not going to show us. There we go, he heals 6. And that's free to use, so that's brilliant. Well, see, so I haven't got much Blackstone left. So let's see what mission we're going to rock up to today. It's about Torsion Cannon. Oh, it goes for units and walls, that's pretty pimp. Okay, that's our extra slot. Yeah, this one I keep talking about, we might have to do this one, get that cog stuff. Ooh, it's cognition gauge increase. This one's very tempting to get our cog gauge up a bit. But I've been talking about doing this one for a while, I really do want to get this one done so we get this better cog cognition stick. When the stars are wrong, Vilex has requested destruction of this chamber. Request to demolish all the knowledge that Lord of Crops is stored here will vindicate Vilex's quest for a safer galaxy, but will displease those aboard who might wish this data preserved. Oh well, Sodom. Necron Immortal, Lich Guard, Destroyers. Let's do it. Level 3 now, our infiltrator. Oh, let's take one of those servitors out. Maybe give this guy a little go. Yes, he doesn't deal much damage, but it looks like he's going to be pretty sneaky. Oh, no. 
Let's see if we can see we've got two encounters here straight out the bat. What else have we got? It's bound to be one more. There we go. There's the third one. We've got an optional one. So we've got no choice where to go for, to start. I don't know where we'll go after that. I don't know whether we'll go straight to the next one or maybe try and get some uh, cognition maybe. We'll see. Let's get this first room done and we'll go from there. By four rounds, that's not too bad, but I'm pretty sure we're going to get some plat. In fact, let's spin back around. I think we've we've had this team earlier on in our playthrough. We're going to get a platform here, a platform here, a platform here. It's a little bit of a shame that we can't mix up these teams a little bit more. There we go. No cognitions, no extra troops. Just got to get straight in there with these guys. Not much to be doing here, really. It's got these little canoptex and this one warrior over here. Do have a scan terminal. I didn't wreck it up at the beginning of the level too good, didn't I? Um, That means there's going to be no healing going on. Brilliant, we don't want no healing. Oh, I could have collected cognition. I want that. What's cool is all three of these guys have got their axes a little bit close to being machine spirit charged. That's a bit of a result. Him, shouldn't I? He's got physical armor, not energy armor. You'll have to forgive me today. I'm quite medicated on painkillers, so I'm a little bit wafty with brain working. I don't even know if I want to go in there for a melee attack. It's not really going to do much. So do five to seven. Yeah, we could get like. Potentially free damage on him. So I guess we should have a go. There we go, we got free. Uh, no, 
How's that gonna hurt my guy? Not to one. Yeah, but it's not gonna hurt much. It's gonna scratch him a bit. It'll be alright. There you go, you absorbed it all in the end. Cool. Hmm. I think I'm gonna send them up here and start preempting the platforms. Down and out. Come on, platforms. That's it. Let's see where we go. Yeah, let's get the rust all prim. Get some hack and slash action. Oh, that's a leech guard, there, isn't it? Interesting. Let's get just a little bit further away. Let's see if this gun can do just a little bit more damage or do any damage. The NG arms two, so we should do possibly two. There we go, we got two. We only took three damage. Oh, he's got three physical shield, isn't it? That's brilliant. All the armor. That stripped a good bit of armor off of him. That's good. Can I make him a little bit more susceptible to attacks? So a free bit of healing on with our And yeah, that's that I think. He's just tower. Okay, let's get him in there. Open his armor, so that should do some good damage. Now we should get an opportunity. Hopefully. Let's see. There we go. Now he should be on his way to being killed. There we go, got three left. Brilliant. Gonna get him numbered then. Oh, one. Yeah, we've got machine spirit charge, so it should be okay. Maybe not. Oh. Bum numbers. He's definitely going to have to heal up now. Slice and dice. Can get right up to him as well. Be sneaky. Let's think about this. Um, you can make it all the way up there. Field generator gives us a little bit of extra damage. Didn't realize this tank had armor on it. It's quite hardcore. Of course, now someone with just a blast it should be able to finish that off. I was wondering where I can maybe clip both of them. But I'm definitely going to hit my guy, so I'm not going to bother trying that. Oh, that's a good bit of 
damage there. He's got free armor, but this pistol's machine spirit charge, so he should do a couple of damage, hopefully. Pitiful, really. Um, do our troop then. There we go. Do our troop then. And I think we'll just spend a cognition point and get up in his face. I hope we finish him off. There we go. He's doubled. Now, where's the next platform going to come? Send one guy this way. Is our scanner close enough to get the cognition? No. Okay, he can just hold fire there then. This guy's gonna do the same, he's just gonna. In fact, I'll just keep him there and he's right next to our cognition terminal. Let's just heat him up a little bit, whilst there's no combat going on. Thank you. Uh, we're okay for troops at the moment, I think. Pokey poke as well. Guys in range. Oh blimey, look at the range there. Let's actually get one of them from here. That's quite unbelievable. Let's do the Lich Guard. Get him angry. Kill. Any cognition here? Yeah, it's a cognition. Although, what I could do. Give this guy here a bit of physical armor because he hasn't got any. That's something we're going to need to work on, but we really need to get him some physical armor. I was hoping to finish this off with a little pistol blow. This guy doesn't have a pistol. I think we'll just charge our axe up a bit. the armor. Yes. Take that damage. This is already only on seven. Oh, can stay there now, dude. Oh, as soon as the Rust Orca here can't even reach that unit you know, up there, let's get, to get rid of this one. I think we'll move him this way, because this is where that third platform will come up. Yeah, let's get him as close as we can. Right, Benarius. I might do the same with Benarius. I might move him over this way. What do you think? Oh, no, should we get some flame on? Yeah, let's get some flame on. So we can get both of these suckers. I know it didn't do any damage to this guy, but he is going to get burn damage over the next few turns. So that's something. Uh, definitely going to need a healer. Blimey. 
Now, I'd like to give him a whack with my axe, but he's got seven physical armor, so it's not going to do anything. So it's just collect bit of cognition. Kill that day from an arras. Now, if Oriochus can get into line of sight... Oh, there's no point getting the opportunity to attack, though, is there? Hmm... Has he got a troop buff? He's got a troop buff, so let's give the troop their buff first before I forget about that. Should have done that a couple of turns ago. Um, oh, he's susceptible to energy, isn't he? It's going to be our last bit of cognition there. Hmm. I don't know. I don't know what to do here. I think I might just shoot a warrior chap up here with our free gun. Is this Oriochus, was it? Yeah, so he's got the um, void opportunity attack. That's brilliant. Let's push him up, get him in melee range with this guy. I think we'll actually give him a little help now, but we've got a little bit more cognition back. Cool, that wasn't bad. Uh, yeah, we'll just stick there. Okay, I love those opportunity attacks. Machine spirit charged. Yes, energy enhancers. Come on. Let's do some damage here. Suck on that. Oh, that's another Lich Guard. Oh, mama. Okay, we can do that. I'd like to get another troop in, but I want to get him over here. This is going to be too far from the move. I'll take him two or three turns to get there. Uh, so that Lich Guard's down, so we don't have to worry about him anymore. So let's start cruising over towards these guys. Can I still reach him? Out of range. Here we go. I'm going for this guy first because that lich guard's got to wait until he can get into melee range before he can hit any of my guys so it's going to take him a couple of turns to move down here because that chap he can shoot us from where he is he can already be dealing some damage with that gun so we want to get him taken out first really I think we'll keep him there oh he can get in there go on rust walker Sneaky. 
some of that. Cool, bonus opportunity attack there. Nice. I honestly didn't think the Lich Girl was going to try moving towards us there, because it's so far away. Oh well, no complain. Quite gonna finish him. But we'll get the up oh it has! There we go. Brilliant. Result. Let's give him a little poke. Um, yeah. Get rid of him. Start marching this way. I think now it's just that one lich guard left, that's all we've got to deal with. Look like he's within shooting range. He is. Oh, he's going down. Going down. Uh, can I heal myself first? Let's just do a quick bit of healing. Freedom, make it cheaper, save the cognition for next round. Cool, well, there we go, first room done. Need to got a full cognition bar now, so that's wonderful. An image of a Necron Lord who can only be a Cropsis dominates one wall of his chamber. The image is surrounded by complex star charts and diagrams of unknown constellations. Clearly, given the objective of this mission, such an icon of blasphemy cannot be allowed to stand. Dethrone. Topple it by hand so it shatters on the floor, hopefully without as much noise as an explosive demolition. Demolish. Destroy it with explosives. I delegate. Report its location to Skatari units so they can follow up and destroy it. Hmm. Definitely don't want to demolish. That's going to be too noisy. Dethrone's very interesting. Toppling it by hand. Would probably take a while. Delegate. Hmm. Skatari could get messed up on the way there. We're here. Let's do it whilst we're here. The Archon tips forward and topples, slamming into the floor and shattering into thousands of pieces. Behind it is revealed a hidden chamber containing artifacts and caches of building materials the Necron equivalent of a treasure hoard. Truly, the machine god has smiled on this course of action. What have we got here? Omnispex. Ooh, the target has 100% chance to miss you with its attacks. That's quite a nifty little gadget. Alright, we're just going to get straight into the next room here. Been pretty good on the awakening level. Just clocked into one. Be nice if we have a scan terminal on this map. Lower it a bit more. Looks like we've got a right up mix here. We've got two Lich Guards here. Scan Terminal, Immortal, Lich Guard, Mortal, Mortal, Destroyer. Bit of cognition. So I've like got plenty of cognition on this map. I've only got the one scan terminal. We've got some cheeky, cheeky floors to come up, maybe. There you go, there's definitely one here. That's got to be one down there as well. You can see the glowy stuff going on down there. I think that's it, though. Okay, so how are we going to arrange ourselves? This guy on four, he's got to get in the middle of a load of them. Go. Oh, I'm getting killed straight off the bat. That would not be cool. Um, who are we going to send in at the beginning? Do we get a vanguard in? Yeah, so at least we can get some shield down with his range attack. The 
first order of business. Is he the only one that needs healing? A couple of needs healing. So let's just heal everyone. Let's so heal everyone for the same price as healing one. There's only two that needed it, but still. Alrighty then. Good because these guys can't. I don't think you can walk up and around this bit. I don't think. So he's going to have to come around if he wants me. Like damage absorbed, so he's definitely got some energy armor. I'm going to add two. So this should do a couple of bit of damage at least. There we are, four. That's alright. Much better than expected. All the enemies are quite far away apart from these two. But these uh, immortals, I think they are, they've got quite some range on them. If I attack one of these guys with a big gun, will it kick the other one? Yes, it will do. Okay, that's cool. Stabby stick. Oh, I think we're going to get down here. Steal some cognition off of him. I'm not going to get rid of a body. Kind of hoping, but I sort of blocked the path for this one. We'll see. Let's use the skull, get these cognition bits over here. Get the old power field generator on. Get some immolation on the go. damage. Not interesting enough, I forgot where it was taking it out of melee range. A little bit of bugger, but there we go. Still dealt a good bit of damage there. I want to get this guy so we can hit out of the lips guard. Should be okay there. He's got the um, movement reduced on him, isn't he? Oh, lots of energy armor. Um, okay, let's check this guy this way towards the scan terminal then, I think. Some other guys do with that lich guard. All the energy armor, what a bugger. So he's going to get knocked back there. I'm pretty sure I've still got. There we go. A little bit of movement. That's fine. Can we collect anything like that? No. Oh, trip unit, trip unit. There we go. 
Nearly fudged out. Gear enhancer on with that. I should hopefully do for four damage, possibly. Just go to ten. Oh, I'm just going to clear that body as well. Yeah, three. I, I fought three to four, then nice. That's not too bad. Oh, and he's having to come up around the long way. That's good. Okay, what got here? This one damage. Is there an extra one to this one over here? Okay, I think these three here are going to be able to take care of this lich guard, okay. He's coming back down now. He's not sure where he's going. down <sighs> that's really annoying and now this is my man okay so he's not gonna do anything with energy attacks um I really don't know what to do with this guy Some more physical armor because he's going to get it soon, isn't it? Okay, a little bit of distance on us. Get with this gun, so it ignores the armor, and he's going to waltz up to us. Then we can get some axe attack action. Start moving him up this way. Start moving him up into the middle, then he can go whatever way is required when required. Do we have a stabby stick? Yes, we do. Brilliant. Oh, our well, cognition, no, our cognition stick comes back in one turn, we can use that on the other turn again. Now, 
now this area here needs some reinforcement now. Pominaris is gone. that one as well. That is brilliant. I kind of knew he was going to get the destroyer there, but I didn't realise he was going to get the Lich Guard. Well, that's wonderful. Well, so he's got plenty of health. I'm going to keep him here though. If I move up, this area is all going to be blocked. as far away from that lich guard as possible. I'm gonna get a shot on him. Fingers crossed. We're getting up well, we're gonna get an opportunity to attack he's got no choice but to walk past this guy. But will he come past? No, it's his movement's reduced, isn't it? That destroyer is destroying, man. Crap, we need to do something about that. There's definitely nothing. Oh, we're going to send this guy this way, really. Two Lich Guards. Whoa. Out of range. Close to us, we can poke him with our cognition stick. Get a little bit of cognition back. He's got lots of his clan, I think, isn't he? Yeah, seven. This is not worth trying to axe attack him. This way, really. Ooh. Getting low on the cognition. Still with seven physical armor though. This is, this is, 
get the tricky one. Just gonna have to chill there. Oh, my days, this guy's nearly dead as well. That's your turn. In the bar. Get out of opportunity attacks, right? Just this one here. No. You don't even know what this guy's on. Oh well, let's see what happens. He's only on one. Two physical. Right, we're going to have to um, use our can score here to heal this guy up. I've got no choice. Now I'm tempted to move him back. Yeah, I'm going to move back. He's going to take a, a hit here. But I think if I keep him there, he's going to take a shot from the lips guard. And that destroyer is going to get another go at him. I'll give us a bit of cognition here. What shield does he have? Yeah, it's all. It's all energy. Back this guy up a bit more. Anything else he can shoot? Can shoot that one? No, out of range. No, let's just, just to chill with him. So he's got all the physical armor. Let's delay that turn. See if we can get to someone who can get an energy attack on. Oh, a reanimation? Oh, bum fudge. This one's really not going good today. I think we kind of met our match a bit. That one's got opportunity attack on him as well. So I did want to try and send this guy around the back of these ones. But I've got to get him in here now to do this um, energy attack on this Lich Guard. His physical attacks just wouldn't touch him. Oh, what can we do from here now then? Is that a dead Lich Guard? It is, isn't it? Good cognition term. So we've got our cognition back up. No more guns for this round, so let's get in there, give him a bit of a chop. Still got a lich guard here. So let's see what his stats are. Massive energy armor. Um, let's go up this way then. Don't think we know what the destroyer is on board. No, we don't. But well, I'm gonna go for them anyway. process and let's get this body out here. This 
So we've got lots of cognition now. I don't know if he's going to do any damage, but I'm certainly not going to knock him back, so it's worth a shot. I think this one's got the energy armor on him. His physical attack's doing good. Oh, brilliant, brilliant. Let's sacrifice the Vanguard. Hopefully. Yeah, there we go. He's only got one left on him. Brilliant. Got a bit of move forward. One more step. I won't be able to do that. That's brilliant. So that is everyone down there dead now. Start collecting some cognition. Just that destroyer left now. Okay, so I think this next shot might just do the business. Just got Croatia on. In fact, this is Leonardo, he can heal everyone. Let's give everyone just a little bit of the top up. I'm pretty sure we're getting Nobby in this shot. Yeah! Destroy Nobbled. We got Minarius. It's a bugger. Well, that room there. Was taxing. The grand vista of the night sky over Silver Tenebris dominates the ceiling of this chamber. It has enough detail to serve as a stellar map, and a few of the heavenly bodies local to the star system are visible. Compare. Juxtapose the star map with the current sky over Silver Tenebris to learn of any differences between the two. Some of the stars are marked with what looks like precious stones. Acquire them. Collapse. Bring the ceiling down so this monument to Acropsis' stargazing will be no more. Compare. Try to learn something. Okay, so where are we going to go? Let's backtrack. So let's say one, two, three. One, two, three. Let's go this way, then we're doing a glyph room and a question mark, uh, exclamation mark. I could even go that way instead. This panel controls a heavy door leading to a treasure room beyond which is filled with cognition. If we can work out the right commands, then we can reap the rewards within. A container of some sort that seemingly has raw binary seething within. Clearly it is of Xenos origin. Sparks of data leak through the age sealant used to contain the treasure within. And we've got an extra free cognition. Oh, I think we're gonna go this way. No reason. Seems more forward. Pieces of broken stone littering this chamber are covered in fragments of necron hieroglyphics. This might suggest the target chamber is close. These fragments could also prove informative in themselves. Reconstruct. Try to piece the fragments together into a coherent passage of hieroglyphics. Recover. Collect the fragments for study or repurposing on the Castus Metallicum. Or reject. Ignore the fragments. The mission is to destroy such things, not waste time reading them. I definitely don't want to waste time reconstructing. I think rejecting is daft because it's turning away the opportunity to get some knowledge. So we're going to go for Recover. The fragments are gathered up by the Cohort. Though they are too broken up to prove an accurate translation, they are made of exotic materials the Necrons use for construction and can be melted down in the crucibles of the Castus Metallica. It's more Blackstone. Oh, hey. 
Right, let's see what this last room's got for us. Is there anything like that last one? We're going to be here a while. Lord of Cropsis. That's a thin little band of deployment there. Okay, so what we've got? A mortal over here. Mortal Lich Guard. Necron Lord. Lich Guard. Lich Guard. Arch Cognition. And we've got a few, a few cog terminals, so that's not bad. We've only got a four guys though. So we've got a Lich Guard there, one all the way up here. Okay, so let's get our infiltrator dude out, see what he does. Oh, what we've got to do is kill all enemies. Let's see what this Lich Guard is up to. Seven physical. Let's get the bubble up. He doesn't have the man. Uh, I don't know if we're going to bother trying to chop him up. It's not going to do any damage. We'll charge our axe up a bit, machine spirit. But I think we'll save, save, because it'll just mean we'll have another counter attack and it'll wear the bubble down a bit more. See if I get into him with a guy like this one. It's got the gun that ignores the armor. So that's what I like here. Try and stay in this bubble. Just in case this doesn't do the business and it comes for us. There we go. Bubble did its job well there. Good bubble. Get back sponge to troops. So let's do that. Don't need to poke him yet. Hey! Good job. That gun sounded great. A little SMG beast. Okay, let's start shooting up this way. Got a glowy door here as well. Gotta be aware of that. He's out of range. Okay. It's a bad result. Got that Lich Guard gone. I have the power! Interesting one. Making a little giant to cool his way there. Okay, securing infantry. Which we 
we send him up this way as well. So that comes on top. Oh, I don't worry about that just yet. Okay, what other enemies we got? We've still got some up here. Can we get to them? Up these stairs. Yeah. Oh, there's an enemy here. I nearly did the spot that one. Jeremy, oh, please. Mop it. There we go. Ten damage, that's nice. Nice and healthy. this round so far. What can you do? You can go... Oh, if you go up on this platform you can't go anywhere. You can shoot. Hmm. Yeah, let's just move him up here. Start shooting this Lich Guard in a bit. Hopefully, anyway. Let's see. Oh, you can't. Yeah, you've got to be right in the end. Okay, I won't take the next round to do that. Maybe we can use a little more cognition out there. Uh, I think I'd like to send him this way to help with these guys. So close. Just this guy's doing physical damage with his gun. He's got loads of physical armor, so it's not worth him being this side. Start sending him over this other side. Or maybe up the middle, deal with that lord. Hope. 
say no to reanimation, kids. Okay, we'll collect all cog points. We actually need that now. There's the other one that gives two. What was two terminals it gave out to? Wasn't this just a one? Get this here. I hope it does some damage. I'm not sure it's not going to be worth shooting him either. Um, Getting there for physical attack, but I don't know what kind of shielding this guy's got on him. Ah, oh, sod it, let's just do it. Can't keep dilly dallying, we're gonna do it all day. Okay, that's quite cool. He hasn't got much physical armour. start getting the axes swinging on this guy. Get machine spirit charged and try and knock some armor off of him. This is taking too long to kill. We're just like nibbling away at him. Um yeah let's boost that troop get him moving a bit more. Have we got any terminals near us we can scan? No. Okay, just leave him there for now. Movement of these troops really sucks. It says 5 to 7, but it is machine spirit charge, so I'm hoping this does a bit more. Um, but I think I'm not going to risk it. Let's make sure he dies. Get our counter call now. There we go. He's a goner.
kill it. Oh no. He's probably going to get shot again, so I'll wait until he's got shots again before I try and heal him. I've got eyes in that Necron Lord from anywhere. I haven't. It's not worth trying to shoot that dude. Alright, I'm going to save all our cognition. Can we still see this guy? No, we'll move over there. Last machine still charged. Six to eight, possibly. So once again, let's try and make this a given here. guy up just a little bit. But leave him with some off of him so he can still get the extra damage. Oh, I haven't spotted any scan towers. I don't think there is. Big man, no, we have to come all the way up here somewhere. We still can't see him from there. Oh, me. Right, let's just start pushing this guy all the way up then. Yeah. Oh, you can't walk up that way. Oh, God, this is pain in the butt crack, isn't it? Okay, let's just keep him there then. Um, let's save it. Nice. It's an infiltrator. Let's give her 
want a little bit of healing love. damage. That's pretty good for that gun. Cognition to be gained. Yes, it's one there. Four damage. You're a bloody Necron Lord and you're only doing four damage. What a fruit loop. Kill he's only got a couple of health left, but let's blast him into oblivion. Kneel before me, Mwahaha. Mission complete. The cohort enters the Grand Hall where the walls are covered in dense hieroglyphics recording Acropsis' astronomical theories and readings. Demolition charges are placed at each corner and the cohort falls back before detonating them, collapsing the chamber entirely and obliterating the knowledge inside. Precious and irreplaceable knowledge, but also dangerous beyond reckoning. Basically blowing up a robot library. happy with us there and take us into his confidence Ooh. poor Monaris oh what was me oh well I think we killed quite a few enemies so we should make up for about 180 loss but we got that super cog stick which is wonderful Nearly on 60% with the awakening. Starting to close towards the end a bit. There we have it, guys. That was um, a bit of a long one today. That second room was an absolute bugger. That took us a while to get out of, and Monaris unfortunately didn't make it out of there. 
but he will live to fight another day. You don't lose your guys permanently in this game. There he is. We still got him. We're all good. We did get a good bit of blackstone from there, so we should get a couple more upgrades on the next episode, so it's not too bad. So there we go. I hope you've enjoyed that one, guys. Please leave a like and subscribe if you did. Leaving some comments would be great. Stay tuned for the next one. And in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day. Take care.